Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Mike. And welcome to VW Farm. Today, we're extracting honeycomb. So what is honey? Honey is nectar from flowers and other forage that the bees have collected and they put in each one of those little cells. And each cell, you can see it at the top there where the holes are, that's all cells that, where they put the honey. What they do is they put the nectar in there and then they evaporate the water or the moisture left in the in the nectar and then once it's up like once it's to their standard they cap it and that's what all this is this is all capped honey what we have to do is remove the caps we're going to put it into our extractor and then we are going to bottle it we use an extractor um, so that we can leave most of the comb intact um, so that the next bees using this comb all they'll have to do is um, fill it and go from there. They don't have to put in the extra energy to um, build the comb and then fill it. And it takes eight pounds of honey to make one pound of wax. Um, so the bees have to expend eight pounds worth of honey to build one pound of the waxy comb that you see. I really recommend wearing gloves if you're anything like me and are undone by um, sensations on your skin. Honey and propolis and wax just feel so disgusting on your skin. So wearing gloves is a great way to um, not have to deal with propolis for days and days and days. We are using these catering pans to catch our wax because as we cut this there's going to be honey in the wax caps and we're going to use this base to filter out most of the wax because that's still going to be good honey. All that gold liquid is honey and we need to extract it. It's mixed with beeswax, but we will filter out most of the beeswax when we go to jar it up and bottle it. We extracted this frame. A lot of that is empty cells. Uh, some of that is crystallized honey that's still in there. But we're going to leave that for the next generation of bees. Um, you know, we don't have to get everything out, but we want to get a majority out. But leaving a little bit for them, that's the right thing to do. favorite part it's a lot of honey our first method our strainer into the colander not colander but measuring bowl is not working like we hope so, a quick YouTube search, and we found a food grade bucket with a five gallon strainer will work much better. We just want to strain out all the beeswax, cappings, we're going to try that next. All those chunks that you're seeing is just old beeswax cappings from extraction, maybe a little bit of beeswax, and that's what this filter is for, just to filter that stuff out. This is 
our cl uh, perforated cloth with all the wax in it. And that is all fresh golden honey coming out. Nice okay. and filtered. Let's check and see our progress on the honey extraction. Oh yeah. Still got a little bit ways to go, but it's definitely flowing. Got a package of bees, and we're going to put them into our new hive here. The old hive swarmed on us in the late fall, so it was a late swarm, and the swarm they left just didn't produce enough to stay alive. So that's all right. Here's our new package. They're all clustered around the queen that's in there. This isn't the ideal weather to do this in, but welcome to New York, we don't have a choice. So we have our feeder can, and then this black strip here holds our queen cage. We're gonna spray them down with some one-to-one -one sugar water. Won't hurt them a bit. We're gonna lift this can up. We bought this package from a local beekeeper. Our queen's in there running around. There's a little piece of white stuff here. It's called queen candy. And the bees are going to eat it from both sides and release her automatically for us. I'm going to give them a thump to knock them out of the hole. And then we're going to dump them in. Because her bee bees are unpredictable and nothing ever goes to plan, I'm putting in some capped honey that we didn't extract and I'm going to put this honey super on top of these bees here. That way they'll have feed and I'm going to throw this feeder can in here. That way they have enough feed to keep warm and it'll give them a good boost. If we don't keep the queen warm she will die or sh her sperm will actually become too cold. I learned that on another video. And I put the rest of the en or the bee box in front of the entrance of the hive so any stragglers should make their way up. Uh, you gotta go in with confidence, not gonna lie, had a little bit of shake there so hopefully hopefully that we'll, we're good. Obviously this isn't the ideal way to do bees, especially when it's snowing. I mean, look how much snow is on the ground, but we got to do what we got to do. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe our videos. We're going to bottle up that honey. And I got a couple friends that want some already. So thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.